So welcome ladies and gentlemen back today with more Master League coverage. Uh, we are going to do the club international games. Why not? I haven't played them before. It's the first time for everything. So yeah, we're going to do the semi-finals against uh, Zangran. How do you pronounce them? Uh, they're a club rank of 80. And if we win that match, then we'll play the final. If we don't, then we'll just move through to the Aston Villa game in today's episode. So yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's give it a bash. From what I can tell, I mean, the team isn't great. I mean, their goal is only a 69, so plenty of long shots. Uh, but we'll start De Gea, Blint, Bazur, Gaia, Damian, Fellaini, Odegaard, Rooney. Um, everyone's up for it except for me forwards. Lukaku, Memphis, and Marcio. I know I do say Memphis, Depay, or Depay, and I know the whole incident with his dad. I don't know. It's just because it's there as Depay. It probably should change it to Memphis. Uh, then I'd say it more often. Uh, we can actually bring a lot of substitutes apart from these three. So, yeah, we'll have Griezmann on the bench along with Pogba, Luke Shaw, Markovic. Good quality players along with Godin. I really want to rest them for the final, to be honest, because I think we will win today uh, against this side. They're playing a, a bit of a weird formation, but yeah, there it is. We will make it just a 10-minute game. I know I had it on 11 minutes for the Man City matchup. Obviously, level support is off as always. So we are playing at the Santana Stadium. I'm going to make Wayne Rooney the captain, of course. Yep, looking good. I think their kit's uh, just fine. So let's do it. So the Club International Cup semi-final is upon us. So Manchester United are playing well. Top of the league in the season. And also qualified through into the Champions League in pole position. But they did lose their last game against Manchester City. So with that in the back of their mind, they'll be looking to bounce back. Now the referee blows, and the team in red get us underway. There's no doubt they will be the favourites, but you never know. As uh, Memphis does really well here early on. The guy is actually making a run through the middle, and he lays it inside, and it's going to be Lukaku. He should have scored, but the keeper did well. Well, what a start that would have been. It's fizzed in again towards Martial this time. That bet saw it all the way that's the kind of tempo and pressure Man United love to exert into their types of play Damien decides to uh, well, bring this one forward what a rip and it's out for a corner that's it finding Damien United dictating the course of the game at the moment Damien continues to run forward Durham got just ahead of him but he's been bundled off the ball by the Italian and now's a chance can he make it 1-0 yes he can well it's the Italian right back doesn't score too often the number 36 but he'll take it a bit of possession now for Zangram that's too much and now United will break with Daly Blint Oh, he tried to find Memphis. He's onside, you know, hit. And here's a chance for Stein. He went for the chip. He got it all wrong. David De Gea still on the floor. Somehow United managed to survive that one. Linton. That's a poor pass. Damien. Towards Fellaini. David Blint. Finding Rooney, but too much dressing on the salad. United win it back. This guy fizzes this one in. Looking for Martial. Oh, off the post. What a chance. What a volley this is. Struck it sweet as a nut. Near post. Nearly found the back of the net. William. Taking a little bit too long on the ball. Finally gets rid of it. Ball's fizzed out wide. Durham, for some reason, halted in his tracks. That's a long clearance away. Johansson. Rooney. Oh, he's done well, hasn't he? And here comes Memphis. What will he do? He's going to line up the strike. Back towards Rooney. And into the side netting. Well, two changes. Memphis and Martial being replaced by Anton Griezmann and Taliska. 10 minutes to spare, back and forth we go. Through well. He's looking for the back post. It's a good ball, you know. Oh, brilliant play, Damien. He definitely had to get that one right. 
And now is the chance for United. Look at the space Talisca has. What will he do? He's trying to go it alone. It's going to be on a guard, and that will do. That will do. Make it two. United are definitely, definitely through. How about that? And it's the young lad. What a great finish. I mean, massive deflection, yes, but a goal to goal. So, five minutes to play. And they're going to need two goals now, and they really haven't looked like scoring at all in this second half. First half, they had the one chance. David De Gea nearly made a meal of it. The second half has been different. But wait a minute, they could grab one back, and they nearly did. Mike Quillen. That just goes to show you what can happen if you, you switch off. Looking for Griezmann. I think Griezmann's touched the ball since he's come on. Man United just uh, seem to be looking for Talisca all the time. Well, here's Rooney. No one wants to close him down. And that will be number three. You do not let Wayne Rooney have a strike from that kind of range because there will only be one result. And there it is, the full-time whistle, Manchester United 3, Zanglahan 0 at the Santana Stadium. Wayne Rooney, great performance, son, possibly man of the match. And there it is, 12 shots to 3, 51%, 49% possession. Man of the match was Odegaard, yeah, along with Rooney, Darmian as well. So elsewhere, Garani, if that's how you pronounce it, who knows, beat Pleasure Horn. It's a bit of a perverted name there. Two goals to nil. So that's who we'll face in the final as them two battle it out for the third place playoff. Okay, so obviously up next is the final. There it is, uh, David De Gea saying, we've done so well to get this far. Yeah, we've won a massive one game. That's all we needed. Now we're, we've just got to give it all uh, we've got. Absolutely, David. So let's have a look at the side. So a couple of changes. Going to bring Godin back in with Blint, Gaia, Varela. Uh, Going to bring in Schweinsteiger, Pogba uh, and Rooney. I know Odegaard got man of the match, but, you know, still. I want to switch it up a little bit. Rotation is key. Going to start Martial. Griezmann is up for this game, which could be dangerous and very bad news for the other side. Uh, and we'll start Taliska. On the left-hand side, I think, yeah, that's uh, going to keep the team spirit up. So there it is. There's their formation. Very strange. 4-2-2-2. I've never really seen anyone play that formation. So, yeah, we'll see how they do. We'll make Rooney the captain again. He played pretty good in the last game, no question. Now, here we go, the final. Can we win the club international cup? We definitely are the favourites. Let's find out. So there it is. The trophy. The club international cup. It's going to happen, obviously. One of these two teams will pick it up. There's Manchester United coming out of the tunnel. And they'll be full of confidence. 3 0 winning their last game is very easy for them. Having around 12 shots to the other side's two or three. And then, of course, Gorani, the underdogs. And they pull off a massive upset. Oh, a beautiful night to play football. Fully packed stadium. And now we just want some chances and some goals, and I'm sure there will be with uh, this man around, Paul Pogba, who's back in the team. He's rested for the last game. I think Paul Pogba obviously wants to play every game, but with so many games to play during the season, you know, you've got to remember rotation is massive for Manchester United, and it's why Luigi does what he does. And here's Anton Griezmann. And it could be 1 0 already. And it's going to be. There's the follow up. It's taken a couple of minutes. And the Frenchman is back. The guy's lethal. Absolutely lethal. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Paul Pogba, who's dropped off a little bit deeper. And he's been a little bit careless there. Maras. Oh, what a heavy touch. Daily Blint. He's looked very composed in the uh, opening 15 minutes. He was very good as well in the last match. He's just that type of player, isn't he? He gives the, the defenders 
a bit of confidence back there. They know he can tidy up. And here's a chance for Martial. He's looking for Anton Griezmann, who tried to feed it back to Bastian Schweinsteiger. Godin wins the header. Paul Pogba. He's looked a little bit shaky, Pogba, hasn't he? And he's given it away. And here's Santander. And he nearly equalised. David De Gea calmly finds Varela. Schweinsteiger. Rooney, a lot of space for Gaia here. Trying to find Griezmann. Oh, he wanted to find Taliska. The United, they love to play the quick give and goes. If it works, it's brilliant. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't quite work and it doesn't look very good, but it's a gamble you take. Griezmann's lost it. Mendoza with a long ball forward. Santander is on side. They're going to have to watch the back post here. They haven't, and they are equalising. Even though that's not really a word, but it is 1-1. One, one. And it's Moras. That's a great goal. It's a brilliant goal. And it's terrible from United's point of view because they got caught on the break. Two at the back. Daley Blint should have stayed with him. He didn't. It swung out wide. Would have been a penalty anyway, completely missed the ball, but that's still a great volley off the post. Fabini. It's better. By Garani. Look at the space down this left-hand side. United are have to be careful. They're getting caught non-stop at the moment. Here's Satanda. It's a good play by Gaia. Back in the mix again. Godin gets it out. Marcio can't win the header. Now here comes Griezmann. Towards Teleska. Gaia. How's the delivery? Back post. Not bad at all, but it needed a little bit more venom on it. To beat Aguilar. Smashes it away. With a couple of minutes to play till half time. Here's a chance, you know. It's Rooney. Towards Martial. It's a good effort. So the referee blows and the second half gets underway. United have made one change. Paul Pogba has been replaced by Marion Fellaini. You know, he won't be happy about it, but to be honest, it was pretty poor in that first half. Just wasn't good enough by him. Have a look at this run by Gonzalez. Are they going to make a challenge? Apparently not. United finally get it out. Marcio with about 15 stepovers. Fellaini, nicely done. Griezmann worked it well it's almost like a rugby move as they go from one side to the other Gaia tries to swing it in he's won himself a throw let's try and start it here is Gaia delivers that one in looking for the near post once again the delivery far too close to the keeper has to be better good challenge by Martial Still going, lays it in, Griezmann! He'll pick up his second, and United are back in front. Have to hail an absolute belter. Looking for Taliska, only managed to find a, a yellow and black shirt. Guy has bundled straight into his man, he's lucky he didn't get knocked unconscious there. The ball's deflected. Godin's got the wrong side of his man and there could have been the equalising goal again but Fellaini, different class have a look at this for defending that's brilliant by the big Belgian chance for the corner Gonzalez is looking towards the near post but that's where Fellaini was there's Anton Griezmann now on course for a hat-trick Wayne Rooney still ploughing his way forward Teleska it's back towards uh, Anton Griezmann and it wasn't far away Bailey Blint referee absolutely horrendous there and there's Martial delivered in it's actually been deflected punch clear Griezmann goes down as well but the referee's never going to give a foul on the keeper played by Teleska falling back to find Bastian Schweinsteiger who will have a go with his left foot, always bending away. Game has certainly stepped up now to a different level. Bruni's gone down. Schweinsteiger, Griezmann, lovely move! There's the hat-trick! No, he's missed it! 
How did he miss? How does he miss this? I think he got put off by uh, the dandruff in the defender's face and hair. Schweinstein gets a lovely weighted pass. Inch perfect, actually. Griezmann tried to dink it over. Martial missed it. There's high pressure by Manchester United. They don't really need to. They are the ones winning. Look how many players that Karani are putting forward. Contreras goes down. Godi got the wrong side of Morassi. Deliver that in. It's a great ball. David De Gea does well. What a save. And Fellaini manages to steal it. And now United are on the break. Marcio goes flying in. Misses the ball. It's a great end to the game. The final few seconds here. Teleska just gets it out. And that should be enough for Man United to claim the club international trophy. The ball over the top. David De Gea smashes it clear. It's a, another chance possibly. It's cleared away by Shaw. And that will do it. Manchester United 2. Gerardi 1. And there goes Luigi. Sprinting around the field like a streaker on drugs. And he'll certainly take the trophy. They were the favourites, no doubt. But still, at the end of the day, you have to win the games. And they did. Convincing first performance today. Not as good. But certainly the second half was a better display. Stab at the hair, just giving some tips and tricks towards the players. And Luigi, a fresh new tie. And there it is. Man United. The club international cup winners for 20 what 17 now or 16. Well, they'll definitely be putting that photograph on the fridge when they get back home. That's well, not easy. Not too many teams win the club international cup. Of course, only a, a select few. Schneidling coming on there. And there it is. Eight shots to six. It's a pretty even game, to be honest. Man of the match. No surprise was Griezmann. So we are world's number one club. 5,000 points. Lovely jubbly. We'll take that all day long with a 2-1 win there. And third place uh, it was Zangalan winning 1-0 against Pleasure Horn. So we're going to advance to play Aston Villa in the next episode, December 2016. There we go, that's when we won it. Um, so in Club International Cup, best manager announced. Well, obviously that's going to be Luigi. So there's the individual titles. Best tournament player was Damian. Top scorer, Griezmann. Top assist, Odegaard. And best manager was Luigi. No surprise there. Team of the tournament. Pretty much all Manchester United. Uh, apart from the right back, centre midfielder and Hayes. So, there you go. I think Rooney should have been in there, to be honest. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back for some more Premier League action. We have two games there, Aston Villa and Newcastle, within the space of four days. So, that's going to mean players are depleted. But we'll, we'll adjust accordingly. Hope you guys did enjoy it. But until next time, take care.